Hi there, my name is Andrew Mendez and I'm a senior machine learning engineer at Clarify. Today I'll be giving a live demo of how developers can create AI powered applications using the Clarify API. For those who don't know Clarify, Clarify provides a complete platform to deploy, maintain, and manage your AI models. Clarify provides a powerful web interface to manage your AI workflows as well as an API interface to integrate your AI workflow into your custom applications. We will be leveraging the Clarify API to create a web application that allows you to upload an image, process that image, and retrieve predictions of objects and concepts within that image. For more information about the Clarify API, you can read the documentation at docs.clarify.com. The first step we will need to do is to create an account on clarify.com. From there, we will need to create a, an application as well as an application-specific API key. To give some background, an application is the basic building block for creating projects on the Clarify platform. Your data, annotations, models, as well as functionality to do searches as well as predictions are all contained within an application. Access to an application programmatically and through the Clarify API can be done by using application specific API keys. We will begin by creating an application. Here we need to specify an app ID as well as a display name and a quick description of the application. Once we hit create, we can now see our application. In addition, we can also see the application specific API keys that have been created for us. What we can do is we can copy this key to the clipboard and begin creating our application. So here, what you see to the left is a Python file already created called app.py, as well as to the right, a preview window of our web application. So within the app.py file, you can see a comment string of all of the Python libraries we need to, uh, to install to run this application. And we also include some Python import statements. We can start by creating a title for our application called classifier demo. What's nice is when we hit save, our web application will already will be quickly compiled and we can see the application live. We will create a header to provide the first instruction to a user just to enter an application key. To load the application key, we can use the text input function in Streamlit. And we can do a quick if else statement to check if the key has been loaded. If there hasn't been anything inputted into the text input, the key will be an empty string. And if the key has not been entered, we can add a warning to show the user that an app key has not been entered. We can stop further execution of the web application. If the key has been inputted, we can actually display or we can provide a notification to the user that an app key has been uploaded. So next what we want to do is upload an image. Here we can use Streamlit's file uploader functionality. and we can specify the certain 
types of files that can be uploaded. Here we'll specify JPEG. We will also do a simple if else statement too to make sure that a file was in fact uploaded. If there hasn't been any file upload, we want to provide a warning. as well as stopping the application from being further executed. If a file has been uploaded, we can load the image and preview the image. Next, we will be using the Clarify API in order to process this image and get all of the concepts that are associated within the image. The way we will do that is we will be using Clarify's Python client, which you can head over to over at GitHub. So first we need to create a stub object. And then we will be using this code, which will allow us to enter our application specific API key using a model ID that denotes a publicly available image classifier, and then uploading the image and getting a return back of all of the concepts that are associated within the image. So what we need to change here is entering our key as well as changing this function to not upload a URL to an image, but to actually upload an image that's in base 64 binary format. And we can do this by using a function within file data called get value. And rather than uh, running a print statement, we're going to use streamlit write in order to actually see the see all of like all of the concepts that were retrieved. So when we hit save, we see a successful list of all of all of like the concepts they model predicted in the image. So we see dog, cute, most likely a golden retriever, also like a puppy. And so the last thing that we want to do is make the output of all of the concepts predicted into a nicer format such as a table. And so what we're and the way we're going to do this is we're going to um, save all of the concept names as well as the, the confidence scores and display it as a pandas data frame. So we will first create a list of names and create a list of confidence is we will save the predicted concept name as well as the predicted concept the confidence we will then create a pandas data frame the first column header will be the concept name. And the next we want to display how confident the model was that this concept is in the image. And then finally, we will use the streamlit data frame function to visualize the pandas data frame. And as you see here, we see a nice table that shows all of the concepts that were predicted within the image, as well as all of like the confidence scores that denote how confident the model is that this concept is in the image. 
And in our next tutorial, we will be giving a walkthrough in how a developer can integrate object detection into their web applications. With that, thank you.